Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's keep playing as the Union of Britain in the Hearts of Iron for campaign. Alright, so last time we be declared war on the Reich, and we're being pretty successful at taking, making sure that we have all the Netherlands under us, or what was the Netherlands, a good chunk of what was Belgium, as well as a good chunk of Northwest Germany, as we are now breaking across this river up here. I'm really not sure what river this is, but it's a river, nonetheless. And we are currently trying to transport soldiers across the English Channel to Dunkirk. Oh, oh that's weird. That's, that's kind of weird, yeah. We're going to Dunkirk from Dover to invade Europe instead of leaving Dunkirk. Please don't die in the water. Oh. Okay, so I, I guess I sent everyone in there between this episode and the last. Um, for the love of God, please don't die. If anyone dies, just make it one or two divisions that die. I don't want to lose all 16. That takes a long time to create. Uh, apparently, I have set up so that I am attacking several different areas here. That's so that, especially over here, this way we can just close off that hole and hopefully push to Liège to get across, or at least start building up some defenses across this river. Uh, anything else? Well, we really need these 20 divisions all over the place. Uh, we're extremely close to Hamburg. Very, very close. Nice. We can come down here. Yeah, we, just, we need those extra divisions down there. Cool. We're getting attacked over here from Kiel. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, other than that, we're doing pretty darn well. People's United... Uh, what is this? The People's United Provinces is becoming more communist. It's good. Because we're boosting party popularity. And we don't get that much political power at the moment, but... Oh, plus one percent stability, huh? <clears throat> but social education in the People's United Provinces will be removed in March sixth. We get plus daily communism support. Awesome. Ooh, what happened here? Were we sunk six. Oh, we lost six Norwegian convoys, which sucks. We sunk an Italian sub and three more Italian subs, followed by another Italian sub. Looks like our men are making it to the Netherlands so far somewhat safely. Somewhat safely. We are running out of oil, or at least fuel, I mean. But other than that, I think we're doing okay. Now push down here so we can actually attack them without attacking across a river. Oh, so bad. Oh, we are not winning down here. That is not good. Keep the pressure up. We do have reinforcements coming. Our soldiers are coming across the water already. This is great. Great news. We will have another 24 divisions to apply to the front here. Because honestly, one division per province isn't good. But we do have Hamburg. That is actually extremely great. Let's speed it up just a little bit. And slow back down and see we, that we sunk another Italian sub. We lost a plane, but we did sink a German light cruiser. Awesome. Oh, a Cromwell. Oh, well, nice. We sunk a German destroyer. Awesome. And we have 1941 tanks. It's almost 1942. Uh, let's see, fuel gain from refineries. Actually, let's do that because I am definitely going to need more fuel very soon. We got plenty of tanks. I don't mind doing this, switching this to level two medium tanks. Uh, not bad, not bad so far. Kill these guys, seriously, just kill them. Uh, is there any else anywhere else we can maybe expand? Maybe over here. I know I'm stretching my land out pretty thinly, but that's okay for now. I don't mind doing that, and that, that means we can win very well, which means we can come over here, and we can push this way, and then, since we have this division coming up, Hamburg, uh, just kind of stay in Hamburg. I want to cut off this area, cut off the Kiel zone, and maybe trap a few divisions. I doubt we actually can. Oh, God. Are they pushing in here? That's not good. Pushing through here. Yeah, this, this is going to be a problem. Uh, you guys are all spreading out and around. Which is fine. Uh, actually, since we have a couple divisions, not doing very much. Since you're all pretty much here, almost all of our divisions have so far made it onto the mainland. We have four full armies of 24 divisions. That's really good. Nice, another light cruiser sunk. As we are... We have taken Kiel! We have taken Kiel. Time to realign this. Oh, do you have... An ability, Brian Horrocks? No, that's fine with me. Go ahead and stop your attack. Let the infantry continue attacking. Come down to Kiel and try to trap as many of uh, those German boys as you possibly can. Come on, move on down, move on down. Great. Move right here. If we can encircle four German divisions that we just did, greatness. 
Greatness awaits. You know what I mean. Cool, very awesome. Oh, this is not cool. We lost another plane, whatever. It's only a plane. Very awesome. Four divisions here are trapped. Great. And these divisions are going to go bye-bye, and there we shall go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, let's see. You are Defensive Doctrine level 1. You know what? And you're level 3, so I like that more. I'm going to replace you. Oh, wait, no. Over here, you guys can stop. You are level 3 with Offensive Doctrine as well as Trickster, which is cool. So what we're going to do, we're going to put you over here. And you will be replaced by Henry Paunal. Paunal. We're going to completely reorganize the line once more. Uh, 96. There we go. Now that we have a full front against the Germans and five armies of 24 divisions each. Germans have lost 231,000 men. That is great. What is their manpower currently like? Somewhere between 1.39 million to 1.84. Alright, so what are we going to do with our tanks? Now, what direction should we expand, first of all? Actually, how close? They're not that close to capitulating, but if we can take Berlin, that would be a great feat. Oh, we also have another army up here, just in case Leningrad falls. Not a full army, but it's a pretty large army anyways. Um... Hmm. Where's that? Scandinavia. Oh, you can be under that other guy I kind of retired. If we want to expand, I wasn't even thinking about this earlier. We can keep pushing. I love doing encirclements, but we just don't have the numbers. And the left side over here, the western side, really has a lot of German divisions. What I could do is try to steal as many factories away from the Germans as possible. Now, I do want to capitulate them, so we might expand a little bit to the east, capture Berlin, and then focus more south. Obviously, that's not a lot of divisions to work with. But the German war machine will be probably pretty crippled. Or maybe not crippled, but taken out quite a bit if we can keep punching holes in them. But it's really going to depend on our tanks. It'll really depend on our tanks. I want you to get up to Berlin. I want you to go right ahead, if you can. You, uh, just hold the line. That's really what I want my infantry to do. Just hold the line. Ooh, spirit of the Industrial Revolution. The British Isles were the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution. In this spirit, we will show the world that what liberated workers can achieve in a state-controlled economy. So we get plus 10% factory output as well as dockyard output. That's great. Cryogenic bomb. Oh, I like this. Um, that actually might be good to do the cryogenic bomb. So we get some major benefits to uh, over here decryption and computing technology that's pretty good the poles have been developing a brilliant machine they call the cryptologic bomb which can break the german enigma ciphers <clears throat> we have the resources resources to develop it further at our lunchly park facility i think that's a great idea cool so we got a lot of things repairing uh let's see actually i really don't mind if we add a little bit more to the repair scheme that's okay I need these ships out as fast as possible. There's so many we have that need to get repairs. Five, six. Uh, yeah, do that. Uh, actually, oh, I forgot I could tell where people should repair. Rotterdam sounds like a good, good place. Dublin. That's ooh, Antwerp. Actually, is probably really good since it has such a large port capacity. Out of ten, yes, please. Portsmouth. High, yes. This as well. Uh, let me put high is here. Uh, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, like I said before, we will always need more heavy ships. Task Force 1, up here, it still has three <clears throat> battleships. We have four carriers, so the next one we add in, we'll switch out the converted battleship hull. Can we upgrade? So we have a little bit of naval XP, can we upgrade our heavy ship, our heavy battleship here? No. I have not researched it yet, so that's... Probably why. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just... Ah. Subs are always great. I love subs so much. But I could really use more, maybe more cruiser holes and this as well. Other than that, go ahead and come down here to do that. We've got a little bit more spare room to work with. Submarines, we have lost a few subs. Subs are great, great, great when trying to destroy convoys. But, I'm thinking, let's get some more destroyers so we can find more enemy destroyers. 
or find enemy subs, I mean. And yeah, I think that would be good to do overall because enemy subs are pretty damaging. At least they can be. We have lost a couple of destroyers so far. And they're doing pretty much escort duty over with the British Patrol Fleet 1. Let's do that for now. Actually, before I do that, though. <clears throat> Are there any upgrades that could be used for the destroyers? I doubt it. But I could be wrong. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Torpedo Launcher 3 on the destroyers. Ooh. Yeah, not any better anti-air. Not any better light batteries. Sonar, still the same. Not bad. Not bad at all. And these are destroyers. Mark two holes. You'll be done and we'll upgrade you. Cool, very awesome. Let's see. Oh wait, actually. Move that down here. And then do that. Oh, we need oh god, we need more steel and aluminum. That's not good. Anyways. Get to over here. Go ahead and start pushing in. I know these tanks aren't fully ready to fight, but that's okay. The tanks will do a good job anyways. I know they will. Especially under William Gott. Awesome. Take the airbase so they can't use it. And let them attack us. I mean, they're attacking us like crazy right now. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm looking at this. This is not going very well. They're going to punch a hole through here. That's not good. Let me get to the airbase first, and I'm going to start swinging down. Oh. Non-aggression pact with Sin Kyong and Tanu Tuva. Tanu what? Awesome. Keep both of these guys in London, just in case. Uh, the Soviets still might lose Leningrad, which is fine with me. So I can defend that point right up there. The tanks, they're doing a great job. we got plenty of spare tanks in reserve. Plenty of tanks in reserve. Uh, looks like you could just push into here. Push into here. Yes, this is going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem very soon, actually. You know what? Stop the attack. I need you guys down here immediately. If we cannot get this area first, that's fine. I mean, by this area, I mean Lubbock and Berlin. Come on, I need you to make it over there. Even though our guys are getting... Oh, God. In the low countries, we're not doing very well either. They have broken through, kind of. Ooh, construction level 4. Very good. Rubber, yes. We could use more rubber, but we could use more extraction overall. I think that would be good to do, since we could use more aluminum. Because <clears throat> we're extracting... Or steel, I mean. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um... Aluminum and steel we could use. What is this? Union of Botswana peoples producing chromium, but no possible trade route can be found. So be it. I don't care. Oh, wait. What is this? War just a Oh. The German Reich is justifying against us. Operation Vesarubung. Ves well, I'm sorry, Germany. But I already showed that I had potential interest in Norway. All right, my Norwegian brothers. All right. You got a whole division there. Holland has a little bit of manpower. Good. Socialist education. What does the replace a defeatist government? What does that do? They went with go with Britain, which is good. They can't do this because they have to be democratic. And they can't do this because they need this first. <clears throat> so they'll lose popularity of democracy, which is good. And then we'll get the they'll get the little Churchill leader with more war support as well as effect of our partisans. Awesome. Yeah, get the tanks down here immediately. I know you're getting attacked like crazy. I mean, they're attacking us like just like there's no tomorrow. I mean, like, the casualties are just so high, but they are pushing us back a little bit. That is not good. These guys are actually almost out of strength, which is actually very good for us to see. Oh, they really want Brussels, but they're not getting it. Oh, social state of Ghana is gone. That's not good. Oh, yeah, Africa is dying. But, you know, that's Africa for you. Oh, wow, they're really spreading out through here. Come on, get out of there. I know, I know, I know you want to defend. But I need you over here immediately. Retreat. Retreat now. Leave. Leave. Go, 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 go. Cause I can't afford to have this splintered off into two halves. Oh, my God. Guys, what are you doing? You leave the battle as soon as you can. You should not have taken that long over here. Yeah, uh, I just need you to stall them. <clears throat> this is not good. Oh, we're losing Essen. That's fine. Come on, guys. Seriously. Another two divisions. Come on. Germany, e either take the Leningrad area or Soviets. Push them back. Come on, man. This is this is worrying me. 
Uh, what else is going on? Twelve divisions, seven. Well, six from here, and then another six from here. Could make things very delightful. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I lost 21 convoys from what? I'm not trading with those guys, am I? Well, maybe I am. Well, looks like I'm not going to get any more of that. And then oil? Yeah, not from that either. Soviets, I think we'll be, we'll be okay with trading up here. So I don't mind maybe increasing that by one more. We need a couple more convoys. That's okay. Aluminum from the Soviet Union actually would be okay as well. What are we making? Oh, we're still making forts? God dang it. Uh, we can make those later if we still really need them. Fuel. We need more fuel. Uh, the Utland sounds pretty good. Uh, yeah, I mean, we got more space. In Excuse me. We need more space now, so that's okay. Let's see. Just build that there. Just a ton of fuel. Tons and tons and tons of fuel. Uh, let's see, what else could we use? A silo? Well, I don't mind being maxed out, so I'm really focusing on the the oil, the energy independence, I'm going to say. Oh good, our tanks actually got down here, thank god. Push through them like hell. Yeah. I don't mind if I have to retreat my entire front line a little bit, as long as this massive gaping hole, it's not a massive gaping hole, but you know, it's a pretty big breakthrough that the enemies have done. That's a lot of divisions down here. Holy cow. Yeah, keep... Oh, the communist Udan has fallen. Whatever. Casualties. 615,000. Jesus. Go ahead. Oh, we were almost... We were pushed to the shore. Jesus, that's not very good. <laughs> but go ahead and reclaim everything that we've pretty much lost. Take half of you guys. Come over here. Um, you know, as much as we've lost, I'm kind of surprised that they abandoned their positions again. But then again, I'm not really, since they, it is the Hoi 4 AI we're, we are talking about. Oh god, yeah, ugh, that's, that's nice. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, very cool. Very awesome. We are finding a lot of divisions around here. Hungarians, Germans, there might be some Italians around here too. Not entirely sure. Munster? Munster. Oh, we encircled nothing. Congrats, guys. Oh, that's a lot of divisions. I don't think we can actually break through here, but I have been wrong before. Ah, I was wrong. Great. Can you keep pushing this way? That'd be great. That'd be really great. Send some divisions down this way to help. Uh, it looks like the Germans have abandoned their line again. Thank you very much. I will be here for the next couple of weeks until the Germans capitulate. German AI, how are you doing? Operation Vesselubung. No, a little bit less manpower than before. That's great. Two German subs. Ooh, a German sub. And then, guess what? Two more German subs sunk. Followed by nothing happening. And then some of that happening. And then two German subs. Seven more divisions. Great. Leningrad is still holding on. Actually, they might be pushing back a little bit. That'd be great. It is 1942, so happy 1942, everyone. Ching China is such a mess. And we still can, I th believe, invite them to our faction. Yeah, we can still invite them to our faction, but I don't want to fight the Soviets and the Germans and everyone else in the world at the same time. That does not sound like very much fun. At least for me. Maybe it's fun for you, but maybe not for me. I want to see what we can do around here. You, infantry expert? Yes, please. Yes, sir. Can, does anyone else have upgrades? No? Uh, William Gott, panzer expert? No? And over here, I didn't think so. Awesome. How is this battle even going? It's not going very well. How many divisions? They got 36 divisions. Well, that's, that's a good reason why we can't win. What if we pushed it very hard? Well, then maybe we'll win. I don't know, but I only want to send three divisions this way. Another four divisions that way. Another three divisions here. Uh, two divisions can go that way. You all can come down here. Which means... Uh, that's too many divisions for me to really attack. You guys come down here. Which leaves you open to, to attack th nine or eight really disorganized divisions. That'll be good. I don't believe we can really take this. It is still 36 divisions. Yeah, let's go ahead and stop this. That's yeah, kind of a waste of resources by doing that. There we go. 
Awesome. Some more subs sunk against some planes. Not even destroyers. They're just planes that are sinking. Ten German subs. Great. Actually, how many dockyards do they have? Uh, they got a good amount. A healthy amount. Not a bunch, but some. Not a lot of ships. But we are running out of fuel still. Which is a bunch of crap. Hmm. Military factory. German interests of Scandinavia. Well, okay. Dockyard output. Weekly war support. Which we could use more weekly war support. As well as stability. Hmm. Spirit of the Industrial Revolution. Yeah, since we can't push them out, just go ahead and push them in this way. Yeah, we can definitely push them out this way. Blackburn Rock. Very cool. 1942. Which means we need better research speeds by plus 8%. Carrier naval bombers. Oh, man. We need aluminum. We need steel. We need rubber. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah. There's definitely a lot of it things going on around here. Go ahead and stop attacking for now, even if you aren't. Dortmund, we are just basically letting the Germans kill themselves on our line, which just sounds like a thing you would let the Soviets do to you. But whatever. Four more divisions. If we can't push with our tanks, we'll push with the infantry. It's not bad infantry, either. Not really bad infantry, at least. Magdeburg, it's fine. Nothing happened here. Let's see. Cool. Tanks. Where are you all? You are pushing this way. Interesting decision. Very interesting decision. I'm going to say, how about nah, not today. Yeah. Go ahead and hold. You don't need to attack like that. Tanks. Well, you've helped stop them from pushing in. That's really That was really what my goal was. Attack from several sides. Attack from several sides. Ching China. Sure, non-aggression pact sounds like a good idea. You guys, well, we want more defensive positions. I think this area would be great to attack, but that's a lot of divisions. Over here, we're doing okay-ish. Not great, but okay-ish. Magdeburg would be great. Over here might be a good area to attack, but we're down here, really. We're just pushed straight down. Where could, uh, where's the best place to use my tanks, though? Maastricht? Actually, I think Maastricht would be, probably be best. See, organization, more... Uh, organization overall for everyone. That's good. Backhand blow. So be it. I'm going to send my guys down here. Maastricht. Take out Köln and Essen. Good lord. We're going to need some more fuel soon. Uh, let's see. They got a lot of divisions over here, though. Not going to lie. They have a lot of divisions. Six divisions. They can't break through here, which is kind of unfortunate. They have six, we have seven. That's really not a good mixed number to attack with. Soviet front, not really moving, but it looks like the Soviets are attacking back, which is good to see. As long as we see nothing but green, I'm okay with that. Alright, get our soldiers in here. Come on, let them wear themselves out on our military. We're doing well with everything else except for tactical bombers. Tactical bombers. Yeah. I'm uh, definitely going to have to lower export focus to something else. Probably limited exports or even closed economy. Ah, uh, nice. German sub sunk. German sub sunk. Cool. We lost three allied convoys. Let's get a little bit more oil because we are running out of it. Soviets. Very good. Kingdom of Egypt has capitulated. Actually, let's take a look at the sea zones real quick. So, I don't want to import anything this way. We should only be importing from the Soviet Union. And if we can, I'm going to block this up. Avoid it. Avoid it. Avoid it. Yeah, pretty much just avoid all this area. If we can. I don't mind trading with the Soviets. They are good people to trade with. They're very good to trade with. Oh, it does look like the Soviets are doing better, though. Look at this. They are pushing into Romania and encircled a few German divisions, even though they probably are getting supplied through here. Interesting. Very, very interesting. And we almost have another full army we can add to the front. Oh, my goodness. Two more subs. Two more subs. What happened? Did the Germans just deploy all their subs at once? Or something? Two more Italian subs. Tanks. Well, our tanks have been hit pretty hard. We just have to wait for our soldiers to get more reinforcements. I don't need these light tanks. Let's get rid of those. 
They're just causing us to lose some space here. Tanks, we are getting attacked. Brian Horks, you're not leveling up that much. Interesting. Can we attack anywhere else? Seven divisions is pretty hard to attack. Nice. Three more Italian subs. Another Italian sub. And then, who was this? Another Italian sub? We've gotten bye-bye. Very cool. The Germans are killing themselves on our line, which I love, 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 love. They're not... They're, oh, God. They're going to befriend Turkey. Well, that's definitely not a good thing. But they are losing manpower, which is a great thing to see. Great, great thing. Five more Italian subs. Four Axis subs. Two Italian subs. Two Italian subs. God, an Italian sub honestly sounds kind of good right now. Yeah, maybe one with... Uh, I was going to say meatballs, but maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't like meatballs on my sandwiches too much. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is a gold mine for getting attacked. If you want to get attacked. It might have been a bad idea to put my tanks on here because I need tanks that are ready to go. Yeah, and we're still losing a lot of oil. I think they'd be better used over here. Since our infantry should be able to hold regardless. So. Take Magdeborg. That's our goal. Take Magdeborg. I wanted them to attack Maastricht and get to Essen and Köln and stuff like that, but the infantry themselves should be okay. Yeah, we definitely need to research faster, please. I want more oil. I need more uh, advanced oil processing. That would be a very lovely gift to us. <clears throat> the home of the Industrial Revolution. Thank you very much. Convoy escorts are doing okay. Not great, but they're doing okay. As the Germans are attacking us once again. They really don't like us being here on continental Europe. Really don't like it. And you know what? Excuse me. I wouldn't like it either. Oh, there we go. Cryologic bomb. Bonuses! Yes, please. Air defense, not bad. Radar would be good, even though I've done a lot of re radar stuff already. And basically, the right side of our focus tree is completely done already. So, there's no point for me coming back this way. What we could do... Basically, everything that we can do is on this side. There's nothing about industry left for me to do except for BSA Company, but we don't need more infantry equipment. Fighter Command. Hmm, Carrier Focus, Britannia Rules the Waves. Actually, this would be good because we haven't really developed our naval doctrine too much. Uh, this wouldn't really help us. Special Air Service wouldn't help us that much right now. It's Coastal Command would be okay. Motorized Army, Armor Technology, Air Defense, Radar. Huh. Tizard Mission. Oh, wait, we can do... We cannot do that. Uh, fighter models, as well as heavy fighter models. Fighter production costs, jet aircraft... Well, honestly, none of these are really great for us right now, but let's get some more of... Not this. Yes? No? AS Warfare? We are killing a lot of subs. But we're already killing enough subs that I think we're okay. Just get some more naval doctrines. Just get some more naval doctrines. We lost six allied convoys, but we sunk two Italian subs. Another Italian sub. Italy, how many ships do you have left? Because like all we've been killing is Italian subs. I got a lot more subs or a lot of ships left. Holy crap! The Germans have about the same amount. Interesting. Awesome. We got another full stack here. I'm gonna try this again. Uh, I hope this doesn't come to bite me in the butt. Go to, down here. I will add a sixth army to this man. To this army here, because we could use more divisions. And honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I should save this guy for uh, home defense. But you know, whatever. And we're only in the water just for a little bit. Be a little sneaky about it, and you'll be fine. Uh, very good. Very, very good. Got a few divisions. They are wearing themselves out on this line. That's kind of good. Kind of promising, honestly. They want to attack this spot, so I'll attack this spot then. Awesome. Uh, where do our tanks go? Are you... You're actually over here. Already. Nice. Take Magdeborg. Go ahead and take the city. Tanks are a great thing to have. Never waste a good tank. Alright, I need more oil. Maybe we'll have enough oil in the future, but right now, I just have to have more more fuel. Wow. Need ma maximum and current consumption. We'll be gone in 13 days. In two weeks, we will be completely out of fuel for all of our ships and planes and tanks. That is not reassuring. What is this? Missing equipment of close air support. Well then. <gasps> Yay! Advanced oil processing. Fuel gain from refineries. That's great. Fuel gain from oil gain and from refineries. Yes, please. I need that right now. Free dockyards. Well, we're good on repairs. We're actually wow. We're actually good on repairs. What the heck? Uh, well, or at least repairing. Hmm. Interesting. 
I need to focus more on my, my naval stuff, but we need to focus a lot more on everything. If we're doing more ship stuff, we're pretty good on the convoys. Early ship hulls. I don't want to make these ship hulls because they're so dated at this point. These heavy ships. I mean, they can have radar threes, which is fine. I don't want to do this because this will lower... Oh, actually, we already have fire control one. Eh, let's just save it for now. This way we've already used it. Um, hmm. What do we want? I can't do that. I don't want to make any more until we get the next level. Or at least next level engine and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, they're good and all. I guess I'll... Screw it, I'll make one if I can. Do that. But we're out of steel anyway, so it doesn't even really matter. Ah, uh, nice. German destroyer hull sunk. Oh, and we can upgrade... Oh, yeah. I forgot about this stuff. Heavy ship hull. Ah, uh, just do that. I forgot about the destroyers as well. Whoops. Do we have... Any more stories? Anyone got sunk? Anyone got destroyed? Oh, lost a plane. Lost another plane. We apparently are using some close air support, so go ahead and try to make some of those factories. That's good enough. Oh, it's paused. That's what's going on. It is paused. We only have Oh my god, nine days of fuel left. Yeah. Just, I don't care what it takes. We got plenty enough civilian factories as is. Just give me all the oil you freaking got, the Soviet Union. Nice. That should definitely help us out. Cool, our current fuel capacity is... Still going down, god dang it. Oh. You know what, the strike force... I don't think I, you're even in the water, you, you're just docked. Uh, I need to return one of these guys home before we end the episode, though. Patrols, I have to have patrols. Convoy escorts are extremely necessary, in my opinion. Stop coming over here. Danish belts. Uh, convoy raiding. You know what? These guys really don't take that much fuel, honestly. But it'll help if they just go home. It will help our fuel supply if they just go home. Uh, just do that, because I need to conserve fuel. Oh, goodness. We lost a light cruiser in exchange for two enemy light cruisers and three destroyers. That's pretty good. Um, what else? Okay, so we got a little more than two weeks worth of fuel. That's good. You guys should definitely help attack. Awesome, we have Magdeborg. That's great, great, great. And then... We're gonna just stay here in Magdeborg. Cool. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Since the Germans, I guess, really didn't have that many convoys around there. That's fine with me. Um, I want to get to Berlin. I really want to get to Berlin, but I don't think that's really going to happen anytime soon. Fuel, we're just kind of hanging out. They really want Magdeburg back, and we've been killing a lot of enemy subs. Well, I don't think we're going to really achieve too much else in this singular episode, so let's call it a break here. So what has happened? Well, it looks like we might have lost a little bit of land around here. But, we have definitely made some gains uh, today. We've definitely killed off quite a few Germans, or at least caused enough casualties to make them go to all adult serve. We've taken a couple factories away from them. We have expanded our range of naval dockyards. We have another army here that I completely forgot about that can be added to our field marshal, which now has too many armies under him, but whatever. I need the numbers. And the Soviets are actually pushing back, especially in what was known as Romania earlier on as Japan. Well, China's back, as Japan is struggling in Asia. So. With that in mind, guys, we've lost all of Africa. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we try to find a way to break further into Germany and watch the Soviets hopefully come to us through Eastern Europe. Thanks for watching, guys.